Hard levels in Geometry Dash have always played a massive role in the game's history and community, from easier levels like Demon Park to challenging ones like Blood Buff. These levels have cemented themselves as a massive works that are always appreciated and remembered as being some of the hardest things the game has ever seen. Geometry Dash difficulty has always been a crucial part in the game's history. But where did it all begin? Almost 10 years ago, on August 13, 2013, a Swedish game developer named Raptop released the game called Geometry Dash. The goal of this game is to get through many different levels, ranging from easy levels like Stereo Madness to hard ones. The early version of the game was really primitive. It contained 7 main levels and only 13 icons. But at the time, beating all main levels was a really big achievement for a player. The game allowed you to make your own levels and upload them into the servers, which was a very good idea. On September 14, 2013, Raptop updated his game into the 1.1 version. The update contained one new main level, Time Machine, and also the mirror portals and new icons. However, a few months later, something big happened. December 16, 2013. M2 call verified Demon Park. Back in the time, it was the hardest level, and even people couldn't beat this on practice mode. Raptop liked this level so much that he created a whole new difficulty. The Demon. Raptop really quickly updated the game, and that led it to appear on new really difficult levels. Players competed with each other wanting to have their level as the hardest in the game. And that's how Geometry Dash difficulty rapidly increased. Six months later, Ice Carbon Diablo X was verified by a player with nickname Roadbows. This level with a clubstep song was incredibly hard, and that back in the days, beating this level was a miracle. When 1.9 was released, a new game mode, Wave, was introduced into the game. It allowed players to make more creative and harder levels. Sadly, I wasn't able to experience the feeling how beautiful 1.9 era was back then, but if I tried to imagine it, I would say it's the best update Geometry Dash ever had. This update was really revolutionary for not only the game, but also for the way player looked at levels which permanently changed. Now I'm leaving you with the old 1.9 levels and show you how beautiful it was. Riot verified Cataclysm. Everyone was shocked when they heard this level had been finally verified. Back then, beating this level was the perfect example that the impossible doesn't exist. Oh my god! <gasps> <gasps> On August 12, 2015, history was made. After the successful Cataclysm verification, Riot beat Blood Buff, a really hard demon that required a lot of knowledge about Geometry Dash physics. Before that, top players didn't have any hope that this level would ever be verified. But they were wrong, because it actually happened. Then Blood Buff was placed on first place on the official Geometry Dash demon list for over a year. I beat it. I beat it. I beat it. 
After this legendary moment, Blood Buff was officially dethroned by the level Sakub and Hell, which was verified by Trista on August 14, 2016. But Sakub and Hell didn't really last long as a top 1 level. Almost 4 months later, Sakub and Hell was knocked out by a really well made and at the same time revolutionary level that was called Artificial Asken. In the Geometry Dash 2.0 era, this level was just a masterpiece, longer than usual and had really enjoyable gameplay. This was really important for the community and it was a part of the Geometry Dash history. And still, the Geometry Dash was still pushing its own limits, so a new opponent appeared. The idea of Yatagarasu that it was gonna be a level harder than Blood Buff. First of all, Viper started host the level and began building it. A lot of people made their parts in the level, including Cyclic, Sunstorm, Michigan. The verifier was supposed to be Riot, but he had a lot of other projects to work on, so he gave the level to serve. Everyone finished their parts in the level, and the official verification of Yatagarasu began. Sadly, Surf had a lot of stress during the verification, so he handed the level to Trusta. He got quick progress, 57%. Unfortunately, he took a break from Yatagarasu and continued on his other projects. But he did come back to the level. Trusta had to nerf the level due to him being unlucky, and after a while of trying to beat the level, he beat Yatagarasu. November 25, 2016, Sonix finally verified Sonic Wave, a level which was another revolution in Geometry Dash. Back then, it was the hardest 9 circles level. The difficulty was so ahead of its time, people thought it was impossible, but actually, it was. Sonic Wave quickly was set as new top demon level, but not lasted for long. There was a level which was preparing to change Geometry Dash forever, the ultimate demon hardest possible level was going to be verified, and it was called Bloodlust. The what the what? 10th June 2017 Noble Boy, a Geometry Dash player who made the worst fail in GD history so far after dying on Bloodlust at 98%. He almost made it through the straight line but didn't succeed, and the whole community started to think if the level would be ever verified by him. But 6 months later, history was made once again. Bloodlust was finally verified. February 21, 2018 was an important day for the whole Geometry Dash community. Everyone was in huge shock after seeing that this legendary level has just verified and rated. Bloodlust lasted for a long time as the hardest level in the game, 
Even the players thought that there would be no more levels harder than Bloodlust. It was just out of their imagination. This level had been to establish the limit of Geometry Dash difficulty. On July 16, 2017, Rico LP released a video showcasing his part in a new upcoming Extreme Demon mega collaboration named Zodiac. The level was planned to be exactly 3 minutes and 50 seconds long, and also the hardest demon. This level was hack verified and published by Xander on January 28, 2019, and he admitted to hacking this level half year later. So Zodiac had to keep waiting to be legitimately verified. I beat it! Oh my god! Yay! Oh my god, I beat Zodiac! Holy crap! No way! No way! No way! I just beat Zodiac! Holy After spending over 61,000 attempts on April 9, 2019, Technical verified Zodiac legitimately, and the level quickly became a new top 1, defrauding Bloodlust and placing it at position 2nd at the time. Really difficult level had just dropped out. Tartarus. Tartarus, which made everyone worried about Geometry Dash future, it was incredibly hard and full of timings, including frame perfects, which made this level the hardest demon. It lasted like for over 400 days, until a new level appeared. Simply impossible timings and the gameplay full of frame perfect. That is basically the description of this level. After 234,000 attempts, the GD YouTuber Trick managed to beat this level and set it up at the top one for only 80 seconds. Yes, this level didn't even last for a half a minute. Firework left the top 1 spot by giving it to the level which changed Geometry Dash once again. Slaughterhouse This level which was uploaded by Ice Cave was verified by Space UK. This happened on the 24th October 2021, a few days before Firework. And it meant a huge jump in difficulty. No one believed a level this hard would ever be completed by a human being. However, when Firework was verified, people started to question if it was really harder. This started a dilemma in the community. The final decision stated that Slaughterhouse was in fact top one, even harder than Firework. In fact, some people consider Firework to be harder to this day. However, after around one year and a half, Space UK got exposed for hacking. For this reason, the actual verification of this level would have taken place on the 19th of December. This meant Firework had been the actual hardest level for at least 3 months. Around that time thought, another former impossible level would be verified. Succupan Circles This level was verified by, back then, a not so well known player called Diamond. Shortly after, Cursed had dropped it. At the time, it was considered harder than Slaughterhouse, even if this is not true anymore, according to current top players. The level that is placed on the list is a remake of the original one, called Secuban Circles, created by Nick24, which has a completely different name. And the world record on this old version is currently 64. Two people have accomplished this, 
Diamond and JRCGD. Little did everyone know that another former impossible level would be a verified too. Acheron. This legendary demon was created by the former top player, Riot, collaborating with other creators such as Riamu and others. Initially, it was meant to be verified by Wolves, an incredibly skilled player, who beat extremes as if they were freestyle levels. He even got 96% on the April 5th, 2022. He eventually dropped it, but not much later, a race started taking place in order to get it verified. Between some players like Bayeru, Fender, one Alpha Helix, and last but not least, Zoink, who ended up being the verifier. This beast of a level was verified on the 23rd August 2022, and it got placed below Slaughterhouse, which was a massive disappointment. In spite of this, they got swapped shortly after becoming the hardest level in the game so far. To sum up, we went from something as easy as Demon Park to close to impossible levels, such as the current top one, Acheron. I didn't mention the level Silent Club step by the way, which would have been most likely top 1 if Space UK hadn't hacked Slaughterhouse. It got verified by Paco on the 18th July 2022 and it has a great story behind it. So we'll leave this topic for another video. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing if you want more informative videos like this one.